Martin uh, certainly would remember last season here when he did that uh, golden jump from the back. And I'm sure he's going to be looking to make it to that Euro Classic final this evening. At number five, he could be for better luck this evening. We see him do well in Germany at the weekend, scoring nine points. Let's welcome in our own Alice Grimmel. <laughs> riding back in England last night, looking forward to tonight's meeting. Moving on then, the skipper of the JT Commercials, Fox and MG, has left here in four, Steve Johnson! And certainly John O having a good meeting last Friday, Gremlin in the first line, but uh, I know he's spoken to various people this week, and he's certainly keen to go away tonight with the top line and that Euro Classic trophy. Okay, a rider that's not made it to any league clubs so far this season, but let's welcome in for the cheer. Welcome back to Sandy Lane, Jan Stefan! And Jan certainly also looking to do well. He rode at the meeting in Sheffield, the High Peak Classic, but uh, he's certainly been familiar with the Sandy Lane circuit. Another rider that's missed out on a berth in Speedway this year. He's welcome in, another former cheer back in a few years back in 96. So Thomas over in England, certainly looking forward to seeing British Speedway and looking to do well in tonight's competition. Another rider that uh, did well down under in Australia during the winter, he signed for a new club during the winter as well, uh, much to uh, debate going on on that one. But at number nine, let's see, is Manny Fairland. Manny Fairland, uh, the team riding for him, which is here, Manny's a lost at the moment. But he's going to come forward and collect a memento from Vanessa Burgess for tonight's encounter. OK, moving on then, at number 10, we saw him fire out on this third and fourth turn last week. Oxford fans, let's hear a round of applause for Russian Roman Oshie! <laughs> yeah, so Roman always smiling and uh, he's going to come forward to look and collect that prize. OK, moving on to number 11. He doesn't really need much introduction. He was riding for the, the Cheetahs last season. He's gone on loan to Ipswich during the winter. But he's back this evening. We call him low. Welcome in from Ipswich, Lauren Pratt. And Lauren certainly uh, recovering from that back injury he picked up in the uh, New Year Classic uh, earlier this uh, year. And looking to do well here this evening. OK, moving on to number 12. We've seen his brother. He's a character. He's getting to British with British Freeway. From the Czech Republic, Lucas Freeway. <laughs> <laughs> and I think Vanessa's looking forward to this one. Lucas coming forward <laughs> to receive his uh, prize. OK, ladies and gentlemen, this man has done very well in Australia, in the Australian final, scored eight points. He's the nephew of a former right to the Oxford Cheetahs from 1978. He's making his debut on English soil tonight in this individual meeting. Let's hear it from Australia, Adam Shields! Adam's made it over to England, uh, looking for a berth in either the Premier or the Elite League, and very pleased to have a chance in some individual meeting too. OK, moving on then to number 14, a rider that's going well in the Premier League from Newport, from Sweden, let's hear for Anders Fredrikson! <laughs> and it's good to see that we've got some Newport fans that have travelled up tonight. Anders, if you come forward to protect, protect your momentum. Moving on then to the rider number 15, he's from a local rivals that we know so well. Let's hear it, he's time to enjoy the close season. Let's hear it, the number one for Sweden, Frank Starr! OK, Frank receiving his momento. And finally, completing the lineup. let's hear it for Ryder that did well last Friday for the Oxford Cheaters. Let's hear it for John Underwood! John getting his... Uh, second place last Friday in this uh, heat number two and looking to do well this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, there is the 116 to compete in tonight's Euro Classic, the Rich House Individual Trophy Meeting. Let's hear your prayers, they come round. Yes, it's certainly the two-minute warning.
be back to the Euro Classic, this is back to your centre pages, and obviously the uh, gate positions for this particular heat are slightly different to the conventional uh, housing colours, so uh, obviously they're in your program. OK, here number three, this one's sponsored by Bob Watson Racing. OK, this is where the speedy riders come in, ladies and gentlemen, so let's hear your applause and let's hear the cheer. The rider of the inside event from Coventry, Greg Hancock.
seven, come on off the fans, let's hear your applause, he made it through in right, let's hear for your race winner, Steve Johnson! <laughs> commiseration third to the riders in blue and yellow and black, they will now take no further part in tonight's Euro Classic proceedings, but uh, we do thank them for coming along and supporting tonight's individual meeting. Okay, that is up to you for the details. So here we go, we'll start with Steve Johnson in mind, he's the winner of that one, in a time of 16.86 seconds. Uh, second in red was Thomas the Pinker, and Thorny Blue, Frank Smart. Time once again, 16.86 seconds. Thanks, uh, Richard. Yeah, seat number eight has uh, CCX Couriers as a sponsor to this one. They have a fast friendly and uh, first service is here, and uh, their phone number 1700 is in the program tonight. So Adam Torrance, as uh, Richard's pointed out, writes his way to this one. Yeah, Stephen Blue, John Edward White, and Alice Dribble in yellow bag. And of course, as I mentioned earlier, Richard, the winner of the race tonight is Steve Johnson. And uh, we'll see you in the next race. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for Come on, let's hear plenty of noise for me on. Get behind these riders. Let's hear your support then. The rider going off. Gate number one in blue. Janet Slipper! Going off. Gate number two in white. Forkford, Jonathan Rose. Gate three, yellow and black. Forkford, Alice Grimmel. And the riders from Australia in red. Gate number four, Adam Shields. Back to line up, heat number eight, then two more riders, eliminated, then you can take a look at it, out of the meeting.
there for us as Jimmy Nelson, this world off back to game four position, but uh, I'm sure he'll be pleased for the wider winning semi-final two. In blue, from East Brom, Marty Durga. And uh, Marty's making his way into that Euro Classic final. Along with Ray Hancock and the other two going into the consolation final. So uh, there we go, we're down to our final two heats in the Euro Classic individual meeting of the year 2000. But uh, first of all, we're handing up to David in race control for the result of semi final two. So Marty Huga winning that one in blue. His winning time was 16.62 seconds. Second in yellow bag was Greg Hancock and third in white long tear. Final to win, 16.62 seconds. So two more races to go. Before that, we do have our final um, veterans race for you. Now, the same line as was previously, but uh, so it just felt like the of the riders taking part in this uh, veterans racing tonight. That's Terry Stowe. He's one of the sports favourite uh, characters. So we're going to raise him, Glasgow, and also Wolverhampton. He rides today with 1928 governors. Potentially the fastest and certainly the most difficult long uh, world race, the uh, horizontal and more is like the Wolf of Speedway when the track started in Britain. So that's uh, Terry Stone. But uh, now back to the racing, and uh, we'll have a to this floor in this one because uh, obviously uh, John had his uh, bit of a nap early on in the evening and decided not to ride the rest. So here's uh, Jim Gregory, who's riding red, top races in blue. Terry Stone in white, and it's that talent that is in yellow black. Thomas Kamika. 
and completing the lineup for this Euro Classic final in white from Oxford, gate number four, Paul Wilshire. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear your applause and appreciation as they come round for this one final time before they take the tape for the Euro Classic final 2000.